Well, hey guys, it's surgery day. And to give you guys just a little backstory on what's happening, back in January of 2022, I found out I had melanoma cancer. Now, oh, melanoma cancer can be a lot of things. It could be a small little mole, or it could be huge, like what I had. So on the top of my head, my scalp, I had about a three inch tumor, three and a half inch tumor on top of my head in diameter. Uh, that had to be cut out. That's the reason why I have this hair still covering it. But they uh, they had to take out the, the, the first surgery was end of January. They took out the tumor and then they took a skin graft from my stomach and put it on top of my head. And I will never have hair there again. Uh, my second surgery, they did lymph nodes uh, on my right side where the tumor was to prevent it from not getting any worse, pretty much, until a week ago. Supposedly, they didn't get all the lymph nodes and the cancer came back. So I, I have a quite a big mole on my, or I say mole, tumor on my neck. It has to be removed and it's now 11 days later after that meeting or a doctor appointment that they told me I had to get uh, surgery again so it's a quite a quick process but uh, you know we, we go through this everyone get out of this everybody's gonna stay positive it's gonna be good now it's just a trip to Santa Monica Okay guys, now it's time. The surgery is about ready to start in like 
15 minutes. Wish me luck. And after I see you right now, I'll see you after I'm done. Talk to you later. Okay. Well, hey guys, this is post surgery. Giving you an update. Uh, looks like they did a pretty good job. You can try to see without me to get my fingers in the way. Goes all the way from up here, all the way down to here. Uh, you can see that. There you go. So it goes all the way up there, oh, up the side of my ear. But everything turned out good. Uh, they gave me too much anesthesia. I still can't. I can barely walk, but uh, I can't walk. And then I get the shakes. And that's what's from the anesthesia. It's like, so like I can hold the phone and it's just start shaking. That's me. That's me. But I want to just give you guys an update real quick of what's going on. We slept most of the day yesterday. And then we just got our morning started right now. So we plan on maybe doing brunch or lunch and then go home. As you can see, we made it home, and I'm still in a messy office. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But anyways, I want to give you a quick story of what happened at the surgery. So supposedly, I stopped breathing during surgery. Um, I have sometimes, a long time ago, I had, maybe, I say a long time ago, maybe like a year ago, I would like hold my breath while sleeping for some reason. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm I'm asleep. I'm sleeping. I don't know what to do. So, anyways, during surgery, I ended up not um, not breathing, and they had to incubate me. So they had to put the you know tube down my throat. And then I get done. They have me in anesthesia for 12 hours, under pretty much almost 12 hours, maybe six, and then like fully medicated after that. I don't know. 12 hours, I was like, you can't do that, but I, I don't know. I was asleep for, uh, for six hours afterwards. Anyways, then I couldn't use the restroom. For some reason, things didn't work. So we kept on trying and trying later and later. Finally, they said, hey, we're just going to, what's that called? Put a tube up your, yeah, in there and get it out. I forgot what it's called. But... Yeah, that was another fun experience. That's nothing I would recommend any of you guys to do. But anyways, surgery went well overall. 
uh, other than for me not breathing, but it seemed like they handled it okay. My throat is really, really scratched up inside. So it's not like it's, like I, I'm, I drink to try to make it less dry, but I don't think it's the dryness. I think it's actually just been scratched and it makes it seem like it's been, uh, it's dry. So anyways, the surgery overall went well. I'd highly recommend them. Uh, St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica, California. They are the best. They have a lot of great people there. A lot of people who are happy and care about you and they're just perfect for, for people like at least me. I'm sure a lot, a lot of you. So if you guys are ever in the neighborhood, that's where you want to go. But that's going to do it. I had a, I'm actually feeling quite good for being out of the hospital and having surgery. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had, I've been walking around already. Uh, I can do my computer work. I can do all sorts of things. It's like, it's like, it's a little stiff, it's a little painful, but other than that, it's not. It's like, I feel like almost normal. So, anyways guys, I'm gonna leave you guys, I'll leave you with that. And, wish you guys a great weekend, Memorial weekend. I'll try to get another video up. Hopefully, the day after, we'll see. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.